The Third Wife is a Vietnamese film that I was interested in. I myself am Vietnamese, but that's not the reason why I wanted to watch this film. This movie is a spiritual sort of remake of Raise the Red Lantern. However, they added in a gay twist to it. So this movie is about a young girl named May. She's 14 years old and she's married to a rich landowner as the third wife. The hierarchy is that uh, whoever can give the uh, husband a uh, male heir gets to be first wife. So because May is the youngest and the newest, she's the third wife. And the first wife has given him uh, three daughters, I believe, and the second wife is one or two daughters as well or, or something. I'm not really sure. Uh, it's a very confusing movie because, uh, let's get into the plot. Um, Ra Raise the Red Lantern, the movie was very similar, is a very, way superior film because that movie deals with the sort of politics of being, you know, part of a, a, a polygamy type relationship, right? In that movie, the different wives are in charge depending on how, how much they can gain favor with the husband. This movie doesn't have any of that. This movie, she's just sort of there she has sex with this guy, and uh, she sort of, you know, has to deal with it. She gets sort of uh, mentored by the other women in the temple. And uh, this movie doesn't have much else going on for it. The most heartbreaking scene doesn't even have anything to do with the main character. It has to do with an arranged marriage of um, a character named Sun. He is, like, supposed to marry this young girl, but he doesn't want to because he's already developed a relationship with one of the wives. That in itself is the most heartbreaking and emotional part of the movie. It has nothing to do with the main character. This movie just doesn't have any much of a story. A story of Raise the Red Lantern has a sort of battling wives and then a sort of tragic end. This movie just sort of meanders. It's very unfocused. I know what it's going for. It's going for like a, you know, see how women were mistreated back in the day. They were treated as property. But the problem is there's no, nothing more than that. It's just sort of like a period piece movie about Vietnamese people living their lives, seeing this sort of archaic sort of way marriage was done. You know, people buy each other with dowry and things like that, but there's not much more than that. It feels a little bit hollow. Left me feeling cold. There was nothing else going. Uh, I mentioned there's a gay angle. May has a crush on one of the other wives, and then that scene's over. It's like one sequence, and then it's over. And that's it. So the movie, you know, tries to be something old but new again, adds a new twist but doesn't develop that and doesn't have much else going on except for a subplot that's pretty much better than the whole movie and that's about it. So the director has a really good eye for, you know, lush landscapes and, you know, costumes and things like that and I know what they were going for, I just really didn't follow through. So The Third Wife is kind of a wasted opportunity. Uh, I wanted to see it because it premiered at the Vancouver International Film Festival, but it is not a very strong film. So I give The Third Wife a 3.5 out of 10.